Welcome back to Simulacra 2. Last episode, we confronted the group about the fact that they lied about being there when Maya died. Now, well, now a whole bunch of things have been recovered on the phone. And we have a bunch of new goals as well. Basically digging deeper into the three of them. Ask Alvin about Rex's business scheme. Verify if Mina's tragic story was true. So that's the whole thing with the... Uh, Erica Simmons? I'm glancing over at my notes. Yeah, we know that Erica Simmons had a car accident in August. We just need the district to be able to search for it. Find a way to verify Arya's Alluren sponsorship. Investigate who is likely to have accepted the Ripple Man's deal. Mm, I guess I won't look at the hints unless I need it. There's plenty to look at before we do that. So, um, this is new? It says new messages, so I guess it must be. Evidence blah 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 is not accounted for. All handling officers involved in the case, please report to the chief's office for an immediate briefing. A me, a me date, a me date briefing, debriefing. Nothing more to say here. Oh yeah, just this conversation that we had before. It wasn't saved. So I'll just have it again off camera. There we go. Back to where we were with that. So we have three things to put together. Fashion email, recruitment email, and Mina's image. What do we need for these? Mina's image requires Erica's full name. I mean, we have their full name, don't we? Erica Simmons? Or do we need their middle name too or something like that? I guess let's just try now, right? Let's assume it's in here. Mina's tragedy is the closest thing I could think of. Ah, oh, yeah. A discussion with Mina regarding her involvement in a road accident that led to Erica's death. The incident is also further detailed in a police report. All right, let's take a look at that. 28th of July. Um, so, Maya. So, have you thought about it, Mina? Mina. You mean my backstory? Maya. Yeah. But also my idea about using Erica? Unless you have anything else. Mina. I don't know. It feels kind of low. Scummy, even. Can I really use the accident, her death, to boost my profile? Maya. All artists are tortured souls, right? Sorry, that was stupid. Do you trust me? Mina. You know I do. Maya. Then, yeah. I think you should do it. Mina, it's just, what really happened is not that interesting. Maya, then dramatize it a little. Documentaries do it all the time. No one's going to dig out a police report or anything. Besides, it happened in Springwood. That's the district. So hardly anyone would know. Mina, so like just fluffing it up, right? Maya, yeah, just tweaks here and there. You want to inspire people with your music, right? Mina, I do. Maya. Use your pain. A lot of people can relate to trauma. Seeing you strong, persevering, succeeding. That's powerful. Mina. I'm not sure if I'm good enough to pull that off. Maya. Mina, stop selling yourself so short. You've got more talent in your little pinky than most of these trash musicians. Just need to apply yourself better. And believe in yourself. Because I believe in you. Mina. That's like the nicest thing anyone has said to me. Okay, you're right. A good story gives people hope. I think I'm starting to see what you mean. It gives me an idea for a new song, too. Maya. There you go. Mina. Thank you, Maya. You're a good friend. Maya. Happy to help. Maya guides Mina through a difficult time, encouraging her to be better. Um, I guess that's one way to put it. Encouraging her to lie. 
That is super unethical and gross. So, um, what was the district? Springwood? Yeah, Springwood. I guess I have an audio recording from Marillo. You know, for someone who's such a tragic rock star, I don't buy any of Mina's melodrama. There's no record of any of her stories. See if she mentions any specific incident. Something you can look up on the police database. It covers everything from murder to accidents. Oh, yes, I know. It's a road accident. Erica Simmons in Springwood. Uh, the hell? <laughs> okay. Erica Simmons in Springwood. in August. Sound always sounds like I failed, but we succeeded. Accident report, 8th of August, 2012, hit and run, vehicular manslaughter. Persons involved. June Kovac, driver, Erica Simmons, passenger, deceased and Mina da Silva, pedestrian witness. God, it's so shitty to use that to try to boost your engagement numbers. Fuck off. Okay, we got a drawing of what happened. Erica Simmons in this vehicle, unknown driver in the other. Right, it was a hit and run, so I guess they never... Well, I don't know if they never found him, but... Actually, they would have amended it to the accident report if they did find them later, right? So I guess they never found the driver of car two. It was about 7.36 p.m. and we were stopped at the red light intersection at Springwood. The light had just turned green and we were attempting to cross. That's when a man in a black sedan coming from St. Martin's Road ran the light and slammed into the passenger side of our car, hitting Erica Simmons. It sped off before he realized what was happening. A few drivers from the other car stopped to help and they stayed with us until the ambulance arrived, but no one remembers the plate number of the car that hit us. Why do I feel like these details are going to be important? The time, Springwood, St. Martin's Road. Just the way they're highlighted. Maybe not. Officer's report. The collision inflicted grievous injuries upon the front passenger, Erica Simmons. Emergency services state that she was dead moments before they arrived on the scene. The driver, June Kovac, or Kovac, um, suffered slight trauma. They were interviewed before being escorted to the hospital for treatment. No traffic cameras were located at the accident site, but a witness, Mina De Silva, was able to corroborate June Kovach's version of events. As of now, no new information is known about the hit-and-run vehicle. Ah, we can call June. Let's do that. Hey, June here. If you're listening to this, that means I can't come to the phone. I will text you soon. Okay, guess I'll text back. Oh. Sorry, I don't recognize this number. Who is this and what do you want? Yeah, fair. Who the hell answers the phone to an unknown number, really? Hmm. <laughs> What kind of tactic do I want to take with this? Covering stories about hit and runs and you came to mind, or I got a tip about your hit and run. Mm. I guess I got a tip about your hit and run. You do? How? They closed the investigation years ago. Why now again? A murder case is connected to your accident. Oh my god. A murder? 
Is it the hidden runner? Did they kill someone again? My therapist told me to let it go, but I knew deep down I was holding on to it for a reason. Uh, it's about your other witness. The other witness? I'm sorry, I don't know who you're talking about. It was just me and Erica. No, wait. There was someone else. That girl, Mina. She was the one who called the ambulance. Ah, oh, fucking hell, that scares the shit out of me, Detective Murillo. Fuck you. I, uh, don't waste my time. Look at him out there, staring at me like a, some the weirdo. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, just do your job. This is, uh, what the... Huh? I... I guess the not-in-your-pants-pocket equivalent of a butt dial. Thanks. She said Erica was her best friend. What? Why would you say that? Seriously, I, I don't understand any of this. Can you please just be straightforward? You're not going to like what she's been claiming online. What a lying snake! Who gave her the right? She's talking about the accident, using Erica's name. She's made quite the name for herself. Damn right she did. Passing off a tragedy as her own? Why would someone do that? I mean, I've heard of people presenting themselves as the hero, but as a victim? That's just pathetic. I'm trying to expose her. Great. I hope you do. These bloody chimera stars are just looking for drama in their empty, boring lives, putting themselves on a pedestal while using pain to fish for pity likes. Why don't you just snap a selfie with Erica's corpse, you bitch? I need concrete evidence to prove that. Still want proof? Fine. Our local paper covered the accident. The article clearly quotes that lying tart Mina saying that she doesn't know us. Using a real death to tell a fake story? That's pure evil. Sorry, I'm not in the mood to talk anymore. You got what you need, right? I need to be alone now. Discover evidence of Mina lying about her... something something. News article clearly stating that Mina was only a bystander at Erica's accident and not her best friend like she claimed on social media. The local police are searching for a driver who fled the scene of a crash, which injured a driver and killed a young woman near St. Martin Road. Erica Simmons was a star swimmer in her high school uh, in her high school and got a full tuition college scholarship just a week ago. Um, June Kovach, a driver of the car, was injured in the crash. And then a quote, It was just a regular day. I was just making a turn and my best friend is gone. Just like that, said June Kovach, who was the friend of the victim and driver of the crashed car. I don't know who they are, but my thoughts and prayers go to them and their families said Mina De Silva, a witness of the accident, who called the ambulance. The police urge anyone with information regarding the accident to come forward. Well, that's a good bit of evidence.
Another new message. All officers who handled case file G31298, please report to the detective's office. Thank you. A chat thread of Maya befriending someone she met during a convention. Invitation to an influencer convention. Don't have that. Rex's new recruits email address. We do have that. We do have that, definitely. And Arya's ties to a fashion brand. We might have that already as well. But I think I maybe want to look at what's already here before we unlock new things. I might be getting a little bit ahead of myself. Oh, we got a new video from my laptop. I think it's the recording immediately after Maya's death. Oh boy. Ugh, not looking forward to this. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Maya. Don't, Is she don't, breathing? Don't. We need to check a pulse. Just, just. We need to call the cops. We tell them what happened. Maya was torn up by some. E e evil monster thing, what, what demon? I, I don't know. Mass hysteria. This is like a, a gas leak. This is a gas leak. Yeah. Rex, gas leak. Like, just, just, just stop, okay? It's bad enough as it is. Just shut up, Rex. Shut up. <laughs> you know. Okay, we we can't just stay here and and, and not do anything. Okay, we have to just figure we just figure this out and just keep calm and. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we gotta run. We have to run. We have to, we have to get one-way tickets. We have to get out of here. What? No, what's wrong with you? We have to figure this out. Okay? Okay, somehow we have to figure this out. Just, Maya was telling the truth. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Calm down. Work this out together. Calm down. She was right. She was right. It's not gonna stop. And that means... That means that one of us, one of us made the deal. It wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be, thankfully. Let's take a look at Jabber. June Kovach. At Mina da Silva lied about Erica being her best friend. I'm Erica's best friend. I lost someone I cared about, and the audacity to turn my trauma into profit is absolutely horrifying. Ah, uh, Mina's in there. I'm DMing you. Can you please respond? June is furious at Mina for exploiting someone else's personal grief for her own benefit. Have we looked at these? Yeah, we have. <laughs> Why would we have any new tweets? <laughs> don't know what I'm checking for there. Chats. Um, now let's do Chimera. Mina. Shout out to the folks at BCBG for having me over to perform. It was such an honor to sing on the same stage where all the greats have performed before me. Thank you to all my fans for getting me here. Got to sue wherever, but then you left me all lost and alone. Used to feel you would always be by my side. You went too soon, your life was denied. Wish I could watch you smile just one more time. Join you amongst the stars, the 
Well, that song isn't such a good look anymore, is it? Mina, I'm just a girl sitting with my guitar asking you to keep rocking on. P.S. I'm super excited to tell you folks that I've got a new record deal. Bella Gonzalez. Let's face it, exercising sucks. That's why I'm grateful for Skinny Cup. Drink a cup a day, totes fine to replace a meal too, and watch those pounds shed in a couple of days. Yeah, sure. Say yes to this exclusive hoodie only through this ad. No. Otherwise, get it from our website instead at 20% higher. Okay. Uh, that's the Alluren logo, isn't it? Tame James. Let's go on an adventure. Where would you take me? Water goth. A few minutes later, a bird pooped on my head. <laughs> it's a cute picture, though. Another TRM one. I started out pretty young on the internet. Uploaded my first video at 14 years old, and it's been my life ever since. People have this mindset where if you put yourself out there, nothing is off limits to criticize. Their opinions are justified because it's the internet. It's your fault if you get hurt. You want the attention. My self-perception was warped to hell. I was never enough. Worthless if people didn't like me, didn't find me attractive, interesting, happy. Finding this service changed that. Jocelyn Blue at Light Blue. Ready to earn 5k by working from home? No. New video from Aria. My career is based on learning and growing from my mistakes. I'm truly devastated with myself for making such a grave error and hope you all forgive me. Hi, chicas. Okay, it's really hard for me to do this. I want to apologize for the alluring thing. You know, sometimes you edit hundreds of photographs and videos and the wrong one gets uploaded. And you know, that was just, that was just a rehearsal, you know, it's me messing around. And it's, it's just not fair that one mistake, it was just one mistake and it brought so much hate. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was bullied so much growing up. <gasps> and it now feels like it's happening all over again. <laughs> and to be torn down by your own community when you're already giving it your all. Everything I do is for you. <laughs> that was so over the top. Oh my god.
That's written by Arya. I love lazy Sunday afternoons because it's when I get some alone time to relax on a messy bed full of all my favorite things. <laughs> the best part of it is snacking on some artisanal bretzel pretzels that are just pure crunchy buttery goodness. What every queen needs on her downtime. Oh yes, this is, I definitely just lay all my favorite things out on my bed. I do that all the time. Okay, now we're back to the old stuff. Just quick double check. And of course, we wouldn't have any new things. God, what if we did? That'd be terrifying. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Um, chats. Mina. Oh, this is to talk with them. Right. Confront them with their, their bullshit. Um, we have everything we need for that, right? I mean, yeah. Does this ring any bells? Why are you triggering me with this? Really? I not sure how to take that. I hope the writers for this game understand that triggers are an actual thing that have a real definition and isn't just meant to be used for something that you don't like. I don't know. I get the feeling that they might be kind of just copying online terms because it seems like an online sort of thing that online people would say. I don't know. Your story about Erica was a lie. No, no, no. The story's real. It's just someone else's. <laughs> Is that any different? Okay, I didn't know her personally, but it really did affect me, okay? I witnessed someone dying. Why did you make it your story? I'm sorry, okay? I had to. People don't want to just listen to your music. They want the whole package. The way you look and act has to match. You're benefiting from other people's grief. I'm expressing their grief for them. There's a difference. You totally don't get it. Fuck you. People think it's so easy to get discovered, but like there's so many musicians out there. To be authentic, you have to change your reality a little. Oh, there's one I can't say because I've missed something. I couldn't reach people with my music before, but now everyone's listening to me. I just want people to listen to me. That trauma was real for someone. I know that, okay? I was trying to help. No, you weren't. I went too far, okay? I admit it. It's just people like the rock star Mina much more than the real me. When the criticism started, I exaggerated even more because because I wanted everyone to stop and I didn't know what to do. You're just using self-pity for attention. You sound like Arya and Rex. When the deal thingy came up, I was already uncomfortable even thinking of taking another easy way out. Plus the sacrifice thing was totally weird, so I ignored it. She helped you grow as a person. Yes, that's why I trusted her as my manager. I should have believed Maya the first time she mentioned all this. It was just, like, too weird. By the time I understood, it was totally too late. You can stop it from happening again. How? I couldn't even help Maya. It all happened so fast, and we were all so useless because we couldn't process anything that was going on. And then she was gone. 
I don't know what to think or do anymore. You must know something. Oh my god, I'm so confused right now. And I'm like the real idiot for going along with Arya and, and Rex. Or they're the worst. Of course one of them would have done this to poor Maya. Maybe even together. Why would Arya take the deal? Yeah, give me some dirt. I know she's been losing jobs. I didn't dare ask her about it. She gets really defensive sometimes, you know? But anyway, she was out of cash and pretty desperate for work. Why was she losing jobs? Oh, because, like, people found she was faking stuff on her Camara. And her clients were super not happy about that. After we got the deal thingy, she started getting all the big brands on her side. Like, even a modeling gig? No one wanted to give her work, and suddenly she's hot stuff again? What about Rex? Rex is a total user. He got away with conning, like, so many people. But his fans just believe everything he says. It's really weird, like, I don't think it's normal. How did he con people? Like, you know he tried to get me to intern for him? For free? So many people have tried to complain about his weird business. Maya said she was sick of hearing him rant about that. But now it's like all those complaints went away. Only the Ripple Man can make that happen? Isn't it extreme to sacrifice Maya for this? Uh, Rex thinks everything's one big game and he just plays people. He sees people like, like there is prawns, <laughs> like there is pawns or something. I think you're right. Oh my god, I'm right? I knew he was that selfish. I want to grow my business by growing each and every one of you. If you sign up as a regular subscriber, you'll get fans and likes straight out of the bat. What we want you to do then is you'll start recruiting people. And for everyone you recruit, you get a slice of their fees and even more likes. If you make it to platinum level, you will have an army of people working for you, getting your business's likes, promoting what you're doing. If you hustle smart, you can make it all the way to the top of the pyramid, uh, top of the food chain, food chain, top of the food chain. Guys, this, this right here, this is innovation. This is how little guys like us, we're going to disrupt the entire industry. Are you with me? Come on. This is it. Very, like 100% literally a pyramid scheme. <laughs> Or Ponzi scheme. Rex has developed a Ponzi scheme and Alvin is one of his gullible followers. I got this when I was stupid enough to do free work for him. I don't get it myself, but like loads of people were super angry with him about this. I'll look into it. Oh, mm, hmm. Hmm. Don't like this, really. What is a dialing? Hmm. Okay. Jeez, what now? I swear to God, I'm gonna find out what you look like, and if I ever see your face in person. Do you want to see my face now? What? What, what the? F what the? F <laughs> Very funny. You almost sounded like Maya. Do you want to see it? My face! Jesus. Nope, don't want to see your face, but guess I already did. Thanks.
Huh, I got goosebumps. Literally, I have goosebumps on my arm. Oh my god. Ah, uh, oh no. Fuck, god damn it. I knew that picture was creepy. Mm. Ugh. Got some good news and bad news. What do you want first? Bad news over with. The higher-ups know about our investigation. Since I've violated numerous protocols and laws, they're considering misconduct charges against me. Worse, they're threatening to dissolve dupe and destroy all my research on that simulacra. That's terrible. It's expected. I knew what I was getting myself into. There's a silver lining. They're willing to drop everything if we nail this case. We need the culprit who took the deal and any images of f or footage proving the existence of the Ripple Man. So where are we on this? Well, Rex does feel like the most likely one, but I also feel like they're a red herring. But they're a much better pick than Mina. Rex could be the one. That's quite the pyramid scheme. I wonder how far you'll make use of others for personal gain. Good job getting Mina to tattle. Getting them to turn on each other helps us dig up more of their dirt. These kids are going down. Be careful not to jump to conclusions. We need to be absolutely sure about who took the deal. I don't want this case unraveling because we overlooked something. If we make a mistake and screw the case up, no one will know the truth about these simulacra. And I'll go back to being treated like a fool. I won't fail you. Music to my ears. Two more left to talk to. I'll be in touch. How's our home screen looking? God fucking damn it. I do not like looking at that. I really don't. That's waiting for me every fucking time I press the home button. <clears throat> Detective Marilla has been placed under observation. All junior officers and administrative staff to please get confirmation from your direct supervisor before executing any order from him. Field Team Delta, you are placed under special assignment. Please report back to HQ for immediate briefing. Mm, so... Do we want to do any of these yet? I guess no. Again, look at what we have before we jump into those. God damn it. Another video from Maya's laptop. 10th of October. How's our home screen looking? Okay, great. I feel so much stress every time I go to the home screen. So much. Don't want to get a copyright strike. Sorry. TRM. TRM gave me hope for a new career on social media. My family didn't have a lot. We'd often live paycheck to paycheck. I'm an only child, so my parents put all their dreams on me. I was destined to be a doctor or an engineer. Anything to break the cycle. 
After graduation, I was offered full rides to two Ivies. Things were great until my mom passed away and I snapped. Life has a funny way of creeping up on you. My dad was supportive, but I couldn't stop feeling like a disappointment. Thankfully, that wasn't the end of it for me. Emily Wong. I've heard about you. You did a group thing. Rex. I love my car. You know how much I love my car? That's how much. Who you messing with? Who you playing with? 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 I'm the best of the best since the Renaissance. I'm the best of the best since the Renaissance. I'm the best of the best Rex, I ain't tripping daily basis. I'ma pull the trigger flex. Now you're tripping daily basis. I'ma fight the system. I show you how to live outside the social conventions. I try to see the humor in the worst of situations. The crowd please your attention. Sealer, I'm sharp tooth. I stomp through. I'm a damage dealer. I rock you. Talk you into submission. Mission impromptu. Rex at your party. Send everyone to the bathroom. The new jams are too advanced. Your prehistoric. Who I be is the question and the answer is rhetoric. But new jams to advance you prehistoric who I be is the question and the answer is rhetoric who you messing with who you playing with 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 Man, I don't know what was harder to look at, that video or my home screen. That song was terrible. Had too much money in the bank, so I used some of it to film this video. Here's a special message from Sexy Demise and I. Are there any more? No. I really, God, I keep scaring myself going to the home screen. Let's look at the chats. Mina sent an audio recording. I feel so naive. I didn't think Rex would go this far, but I'm not really surprised. He's always bragging about how he's smarter than everyone else. He thinks it's okay to just mess up people's lives just because he knows how to get away with it. <laughs> Not this time. We're gonna get him. That loudmouth isn't talking his way out of this. Rex. Oh, we definitely don't want to confront them yet. Let's take a look at Alvin the Almighty. 